Oh, we got some bait. We got some bait. All right, guys, we are out here, um, out in the Jupiter right, Inlet. Right by Juno Pier. Juno Pier's right there. Yeah, Juno Pier. We're out the Jupiter Inlet here, just catching today. catching a little bit of bait. Um, we're not we're not gonna try to catch a lot um, because we're not gonna we're not probably not gonna go out for mahi. It's a little it's a little rough out there um, for the for our boat size. What are we at? Twenty two, honey. Twenty two. Yeah. So uh, we're probably gonna stay a little closer, probably sixty to eighty feet of water. Go after some snapper and uh, come home and do a catch and cook with you guys. Hopefully, so let's see what we can catch. There's another one. I, I got him right here. They're just huge runners. So no, those are those are like perfect. Is that a runner? Yeah. Skinny. Yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Skinny little runners. That's perfect. There you go. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, this was this is a good good size. One at a time, I guess that's what we're going to play that one at a time game. At least it's nice to come out and look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> this is a bigger one. Might not want to keep, keep this one? No. He's swimming with our shrimp. Fuck. Yeah, that's no, true. They'll still eat the shrimp. Might not be big. Okay, guys, I just um, dropped down right here. We're in 100 feet of water. I caught a grunt uh, just a minute ago, and Chris just dropped uh, we caught, what, Dropped a live bait. Yeah, I got a live bait on with like an eight ounce weight, uh, basically set up for mutton, like a 40, 50 foot. Weight. Yeah, so we'll see if we can catch anything. See if anything gets any uh, gets interested in that. Hopefully I'll get a bite here. I've just got a, some squid on. We've got some shrimp and some smaller bait in the live well. So we'll see if we can get anything to uh, Get anything to take home? Rockfish? No, I got a fish fish. Thought I had a rockfish. It's not swimming right. Now it's swimming. <laughs> a little bit. Odd swimming fish. That's okay. It's coming up. Come on, buddy. See what you are. And another. Oh no, this is, a, this is a cute little porgy. We'll let him go. Is this a salt and pepper porgy, honey? Is that what you said they're called? Yep. Salt and pepper porgy. Do I have pliers back here? Okay. He's got teeth, so I'm not just going to pull it out of his mouth, but he's a cute little guy. We're not keeping them anyway. Too small. This is a small fish, but it took it as I was popping it off the bottom. So it's got a tail. He's got a tail on him. Probably another grunt, my luck today. These rollers. Yeah. And the baby tapping. I'm just gonna catch grunts. I just don't think there's any yellowtail in this area. Oh, oh shit, she, I spoke too catches, soon. As she catches the yellowtail. You think never, it's a keeper? Never hold it over the boat, that's why. You think it's a keeper or no? Never hold it over the boat. Yeah, that's a keeper. All right, we got, oh nice, 13. 13 inch yellowtail. All right, pretty, in we go. Cover you up with some ice. Fish on. There we go, got another one on. Hopefully another yellowtail. Doesn't feel like it. Let's see what we got. Uh, Up that it comes. Was the shrimp that you had, that you put on yeah, first one was with a shrimp. Yeah. This is with what? Squid? This is, this is squid and this is probably another grunt. Yeah. I'm going to eventually. I'm still trying to get Alicia to put the, the, uh, the shrimp on. Let's see what we got. Yeah, grunt. Grunt, yep. Yep, so we're going to put the shrimp on. Obviously, that's what the yellow tail wants, so. Give them what they want. Give them what they want. You gotta give them what they want. That's 
started to like putting the hook through the head. Right there, you just miss the brain just a little bit right up past the horn and it stays, yeah, right behind the horn. And it seems to stay on the hook really well. It doesn't kill them. And they do that little flip and the yellowtail eat it. All right, took a while, but we got the balloon out. We got a, a deep bait down on an eight ounce weight. Those are both live baits, live uh, blue runners. And then Alicia's got a shrimp on. Live shrimp. Live shrimp. So we, uh, we just caught a yellowtail on a live shrimp. The grunts seem to be eating the squid. Hopefully the uh, yellowtails eat the live shrimp. And uh, we'll see where we get. It's tapping again. It's, hold on, I think something's trying to take it. Something just took it, I think. Something just took it. Yeah. Measure stop. Yep. Yep. It's something good too. No. It's yeah. A shark. Oh yeah. Okay, it's a shark. A... Yeah, I think it's a shark. shark. Yep. You think it's a shark? Yep. So a yep. Shark. That's not. That's not a rock. That's a shark. A shark took your fish. Yep. Shark took my fish. Sure All right. We got a shark. We're gonna bring this. Up. <laughs> Unless he breaks me off, we're gonna try. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's big and angry. That's a shark! You know what I think happened? Something good, take it. And then it was bleeding. Then the shark smelt it and said, all right, I'm going to take it. Yep. So it did have a good, probably a good fish on and then lost it. We'll probably be able to get it to the boat. Uh, no, he's allowing me to bring him up right now. Once he sees the boat, Sharks are always a good workout, though. No, no. See, when he decides that he doesn't want to come up, he just, he just digs. I wouldn't. He let go. No, he broke off. All right. We got Big Mo here. That's what we're calling you, Big Mo. We're gonna drop Big Mo down right through the head there. All right, Big Mo, flap away. That's a big one. Let's see what we get bit on. Big Mo, let's go. Not quite sure why that name came to mind, but it is what it is. See how fast this is. Hit bottom, clicked over, got bites, missed the fish, he'll come back, there he is, come on, eat him up. There he is, you just gotta wait for him. Let's see what you caught, Big Mo. A yellow tail might be a keeper. It'll be a squeaker, but it might be a keeper. They taste just the same. They flay up just as good. Oh, I think he's. I think he's good. We love yellow tail. Yellow tail, right? Yep. Look at the yellow tail, girls. Yellow tail. Let's go measure them. Yep, we'll measure them and then we can keep them. Big Mo went 12 and a half. All right, Big Mo. Thank you. Two yellowtails in the box. Not a very productive day for as bumpy as it is. And a shark and a bunch of baby triggers. And some, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a fish on. Well, he was on. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Hold on, Daddy might have a big fish on here in a second. Hold on a second. His Something just took off on the live bait that we've got on the down rod with the eight ounce. Just ripped a bunch of line off. 
I still feel the bait down there kicking. Yeah. I've dropped the weight back down. Yeah, something snagged it for a minute. All right. Put that back in the bait runner and see what happens. Whoa. Yep, Daddy. fish on. Live bait. Fish on on the live bait. Fish on on the live bait. How's it feel? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if it's there. Can't tell. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Oh, Never mind. Yeah. It's just swimming. It's swimming with it. What, what is the weight? Okay, I, I need you to take this weight off. So put your put your pole away. It just had to catch up to it. Now it's now it's got some weight to it. Grab this weight. What weight? Grab this weight. No, grab the weight and just pinch it off. The little blue thing, just pinch it off. Just pinch it off. Right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Push, 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 no, push, push. Here, here, here. That's all right, I didn't teach you how to do those yet. No, these are new to me. Okay, it should be right here. All right, what do we got? Took our live bait. We've had a couple of fish today try to take our live bait, bites, so yeah. uh, you just never know. Hopefully it's something that we can take home. Hopefully we can land it. Let's see. Under the boat, what do we got? Ooh, so it's got a nice tail. Kingfish? Is that a shark. remora? Oh, a shark. a shark. That is a small shark, Baby but shark. Baby shark, do 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 Oh, daddy caught a shark. Yep, daddy caught a shark. Ooh. There's the shark of the day. Oh yeah, goody. Oh well, you know what? You well, did, got a good, got a good hook, hook set there. Yeah, got a good hook set. Uh, he uh, have broken off. Look, look at him. He's smiling at you. Yeah, he's smiling. All right. Baby shark. Smiling. She's singing it. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shark that is, and I don't care. I just want him. He's on. little. But he's a little guy, so we're gonna use my little hook grabber thing hopefully because I don't want anywhere near home dude's mouth well uh, yeah that's why they are just a little guy though yeah I don't Chomp care like a doggy yeah like a doggy all right okay, there he goes fish on small small fish but Fish on. Hopefully it's a nice yellow tail. Let's see what it is. I scraped my finger on something that hurts. Yeah, the salt. Oh, what is that? Ooh, you got oh, that's green. that's another one of those aquarium fish. Yeah, it's just a smaller right. one. It's a wrasse. It's got little teeth. Yep. Uh, they are pretty fish. It almost comes from the aquarium. It's pretty neat looking, huh? You got the pliers. Oh, they're right. Sorry. That's all right. Bye bye, pudding wife yep. rasp. Pudding wife rasp. Pretty fish, though. Yeah, I. Got I some, some teethies look on. What happened to my finger? Yeah. Ouch. I don't know what happened. I must have gouged it from the side of the hook or something. I'll take another shrimp. We're on reef. I don't know, I can't tell if he's on or what. Yeah, he's on, but he's just really small. What the hell is that? Oh my God. What in the world is that? I don't know what that is. I've seen him before, but I have no idea. Now don't bring it in and we don't know what it is. Well, I wanna see. It might sting you or something. Holy. What in yeah it's what it's, in the world is that? I think it's I think it's called a trumpet fish. I think. But I have never caught one. Huh. And that is very, very weird. I think it's cool looking. He's cool, but we got blue spots. There he goes. Very cool looking fish though. <laughs> I got gotcha, you, whatever you are. You're tiny. I know that. Yellertail. Yellertail. 
I don't think, uh, I don't think so. I think he's uh, just under. Yeah. He's just under. Well, there he goes. And he spit out my shrimp. <laughs> well, we'll reuse the shrimp, but we won't get the yellow tail again. Whoopsie. I think he was too short. Uh, he wiggled out of my hand as I was walking back to measure him. He gone. He wanted freedom. He was like William Wallace. Freedom! He knew his exact moment and he took it. I got his friend though. Uh, the friend feels about the same. Friendly yellowtail snappers. Oh, that's even less. Smaller. A smaller friendly yellowtail snapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not even a look. That's like a 10. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. He freed himself. You know, guys aren't good at measuring things. I'm literally having to like anticipate the bite. Like I get the first couple of nibbles and I just pull up. Like hit bottom. Now they're not biting it. Bassmaster hook set. Yellow tail. These are a very small. These are, yeah, and that's the problem. When you get into yellow tails, are usually hang out the same size. So when you get into a school that's this small, they're all going to be this small. I think he's too small. Can't measure the tongue, that don't count. The tongue don't count. Whoops. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Tongue don't count and he's 11, so off he goes. What you got? A what? A trash fish? Yay. Yuck. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. I've got Alicia behind the counter, so we've got a cast iron skillet going. Uh, we're gonna make some baby potatoes, so I went ahead and uh, chopped up some uh, the Sunburst blend. I really like these, and they are I chopped them up into a, about quarter quarter size pieces, so yes, slice them into me. quarters. Um, if you cut them into quarters, they cook a little faster. We're starving, <laughs> and as you guys know, uh, we caught two yellowtail. I didn't fillet these on camera, but you guys have seen me fillet yellowtail a bunch of times already. And you know, when you don't have enough yellowtail um, or you don't have enough shrimp there or fish that you caught, we always supplement with shrimp. So we're basically making a, a really quick shrimp scampi uh, today. It's a recipe that I know really well. We've done it a ton of times, we love it. Um, so shrimp scampi and a little bit of uh, sauteed potatoes. So here's all our ingredients. I went ahead and chopped up some parsley, juiced two lemons. We got some butter over there, some garlic, uh, some white wine, crushed red pepper, salt and pepper. Uh, we got some seasoning for our potatoes and some olive oil. We're ready yep. to go. I'm ready to get going. The ready pans go. are already uh, on and ready to go. Yep. So we're looking about medium heat on the scampi. So medium heat on the uh, on the skillet here, and we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. And then on this one, this 
cast iron, we're gonna add quite a bit of olive oil because those potatoes are gonna soak up quite a bit. And then we're also gonna do a little bit of butter on both. So I will add probably about two tablespoons of butter on this one. That's gonna sizzle. And another two tablespoons of butter in here. So roughly about the same. That's why I like this recipe, it's pretty much easy peasy. And we will stir this up. It's a nice, nice, well seasoned cast iron pan. I use this for a lot of uh, fish, fish frying and I love it for potatoes because it'll give them that nice crispy crunch. Yep, especially so, for breakfast with sausage and eggs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do these with a little bit of bacon. Oh, they're really good. They're really, really, really good. Let's turn that down just a cut. Start going away. Yeah, so they'll soak up some of that oil. Yeah, definitely get started with the potatoes first. It takes the longest to cook. Yeah, so, this, um, the scampi usually takes maybe three or four minutes, so it's really fast. Like I said, we want to keep that one. We're about a little bit below medium, so we don't want to do that one too fast and too hot. So we'll let those potatoes kind of simmer in that oil a little bit. They are trickling and splattering away. Those are starving, so. so am I. So like I said, we'll, uh, we'll make up some, some shrimp and some some uh, yellowtail and some potatoes, and we are in good shape. Yeah, our three-year-old actually decided that she likes yellowtail now, and she didn't like fish for the longest time. So uh, she actually finished her whole entire plate the other day when we ate. So that was pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to throw in a little bit of garlic in there. Go ahead and get that going. And when I say a little bit, I mean like a lot. We love garlic. Absolutely love garlic. And we'll get that. That's pretty much already nice honestly, and brown. No, I don't think you could ever put too much garlic in No, I don't. So we're going to throw, so. throw our shrimp in right away. Throw our yellow tail in right away. Everything goes all in the same pot. All together in the same pot. Yep. Easy, easy. And we'll grab these tongs so we can just kind of toss it around. And this is going to cook really, really, really quickly. So probably three to four minutes total. And then we'll just set that aside while we're cooking our potatoes. Once these shrimp get to a little bit pink, then we're gonna add in pretty much the rest of our ingredients. And give these a stir. Our yellow tail is already turning white, so that's a good sign. And I don't mind if this yellowtail starts kind of uh, getting a little bit chunky and coming apart. That's no big deal. But what we are going to do is go ahead and add juice of two lemons. So we got two lemons. We're going to basically make a sauce. We've got our white wine here. Add a nice amount of white wine. I'd say probably about half that bottle. Just a tiny little bit of red pepper flakes because the girls kind of complain if it gets a little yeah. bit too spicy. So we just put a tiny little bit in there and that's it. And then we're going to do salt. I'll turn this back up to about medium. And pepper. that a nice stir and we want to reduce that sauce down and let the shrimp finish cooking let the yellowtail finish cooking in there until our shrimp turn pink don't overcook your shrimp guys we don't want to get them tough you just cook them until they're pink and that's it let's give our potatoes a nice sauce here they are getting just about done too And I like this uh, potato slayer seasoning. I found this, but you know, I, I use this for the for the asparagus, the roasted garlic and herb. Um, I've always used this before, but this potato slayer I just started using. 
it does have a little bit of spice to it, so um, you know, be careful if you uh, are are not super into spice. But I'm just going to use a little not bit of much. it. Yep, not much. And then we'll go just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And then we'll actually just go with garlic salt on top of that. So good old garlic salt. We love garlic salt in this house. We're going to season those up with garlic salt. And then give them another toss. Yep. Can we lose one? Yeah. Okay. Straggler over there. We got Straggler. The baby's starting to eat too, so um, I want to start introducing him to potatoes and fish and things like that too. Mm -hmm. So to make sure that the potatoes are nice and soft um, when we give them to the girls and to the kids and uh, that everything's cooked really thoroughly for them too. No bones in the fish. We always double check everything. Is, yeah, does yellowtail really have too many bones when you pull yeah, it? Yeah, it, it does, but we, we cut it out. We always cut out those thin bones. Yeah, just make sure if you're looking close when you're filleting your fish, make sure there's no bones in it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check on our shrimp and fish over here. We've got one fish that's just a little bit done still. Shrimp is still a little bit more. Well, we have it, we have it on medium. A little bit less than medium. Almost, you know, a little bit more than medium, huh? Uh, no, it's perfect. It's like exactly on medium on fire. Yeah, you don't want to cook it too fast. It'll yep. get too hard. We will give our taters a pop here, dear. And, right. you know, a lot of times with the potatoes, I'll have him throw chop in. We didn't have a lot of time tonight, but I like some nice peppers and onions uh, thrown in there a lot of times. Um, any kind of extra veggies you can throw in and, and add to the meal is always good too because we're trying to start to eat a little bit more on the healthy side. So. Yep, that is one thing I did forget with the potatoes. I wanted to put some onions in there, so that's always good is uh, some some onions and like you said, some peppers in there. Yep. Um, we like it. kind of a potatoes O'Brien type style. Mm -hmm. We dig that a lot. So. Yeah, we love a lot of asparagus. Mm -hmm. And um, you know things like that. Things are a little bit healthier than potatoes. I I've, I've been trying to stay away from potatoes, but tonight I couldn't uh, couldn't say no. <laughs> couldn't resist. <laughs> couldn't resist for mm -hmm. potatoes tonight. All right. So I think our shrimp is done. So we are actually going to take all of our shrimp and our fish out, and we're going to let our sauce continue to reduce down. Our shrimp kind of flaked off a little bit, but or our fish I should say kind of flaked off a little bit, but that's okay. Girls won't care. Nope, they won't. Okay, it's just the same. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this uh, the shrimp and the fish out of there because I want this sauce to keep reducing down a little bit more. So, but we don't want to overcook our shrimp. So we're going to take that out and just set it aside and let that sauce continue to reduce down. We got all our shrimpies out there. A couple little bits of fish left, but that's okay. Yep. So there we go. And then we'll continue to let that sauce reduce down. You can see it's simmering away nicely. We're gonna throw some parsley in there. Get that a little stir. And I like to go ahead and throw in a little bit more garlic at the end too. Just cause like, like I said, we love garlic. <laughs> and it's scampi, it's supposed to be super garlic. So yeah, and butter. Garlic, butter, lemon juice, <laughs> wine. That's pretty much it. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd say these potatoes are actually a little bit overdone cause I was talking to the camera and That's not paying okay. attention. So That's we are okay. going to pull those guys they off. Delicious. They smell delicious. No complaints from me. We'll pull those guys off. We'll put them on a plate over here. And I don't want that oil. So I'm just kind of going to ladle them onto the plate. These are basically just home fries. Nicely done home fries. There we go. Put that back over there. Oh, there's my straggler. He ain't done though. We'll put him over here in here. <laughs> All right, so our sauce is still reducing down. We're probably gonna let that reduce down for another couple of minutes. 
So we will get right back to you guys after that kind of reduces down a little bit. And uh, then we'll pour that over the fish and we're ready to eat. Yep. All right, that's reduced down quite a bit. So we're going to turn the heat off of that. And we're just going to scrape all those delicious bits out of the pan there. And we're just going to pour that right over the top of our scampi and our fish, our shrimp and our fish. And there we go. We've got a delicious plate of scampi there. And With some, some yummy, yummy potatoes. potatoes on the side. And guys, we're starving. We're going to eat. I'll tell you what, I already tasted a piece of fish, but here. Oh, man. He, he was already cheating a minute yeah. ago, so don't let him, yeah. don't let him fool let me, you. Let me try a, <laughs> let me try a shrimpy. And the girls are starving, so. Mm. But thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.